Be good hey what's up guys what is going on welcome back hope y'all are doing well i am so thrilled i am so happy um so so happy so happy uh it was a good game yeah and um, no doubt it was a really good game but i'm so happy bukayo saka didn't play i am so thrilled i am beyond thrilled that he didn't get to play please give me more games where bukayo saka isn't playing because i can't deal with this guy that makes just some awful decisions i get it he's a crucial player he scores goals he's it's penalties and you know he's vital and you know he's useful all that stuff but man is he's such a backwards uh, type of player just the, the most simple things he can't do it's just annoying to see to see him play uh so i was really happy he, he didn't play so so happy he didn't play is that the reason why they won i don't know i don't think so who cares you know they won that's what's important but uh so happy he didn't get to play I'd rather have seen uh gabriel jesus which did an amazing job there he was like a locomotive in that right wing causing all sorts of problems for for city uh, so I'm happy, so happy, so happy, so happy. Um, yeah, the game itself, man, I did not think that this, uh, I thought it was going to be played out throughout the whole game, uh, the way it did in the first half. I thought that first half was an amazing first half, just tactically, both teams, both uh, managers, uh, they, went, they, they went to head-to-head, to head. you know, they were toe-to-toe, toe-to-toe -to -toe in the way they were set up. I thought City, you know, did an impeccable job. I mean, flawless, you know, with their pressing and arsenal returned it back returned the the favorite back uh they weren't as impeccable but they were just as good i mean they did not let them move it was it was weird let's just put it that way it was weird seeing city not being able to to pass uh you know their their third their third half it was it was strange now i've not, I, I don't think i've seen it i don't think i've ever seen it so it was oh it was so tight and and city just the, the way they just every hole every hole was uh pretty much picked up and they would not allow arsenal i mean Raya was having such a hard time. He almost let that goal from Alvarez, uh, you know, go in. And at the beginning, what in the third, fourth minute, uh, with a corner kick and um, really, really good. Um, uh, I forgot who headed it, but then Holland ended up flicking it to Aki. And I think Aki, had he done, had he hit it the first, like first touch, I think it would have been a different, yeah, different thing. Uh, too bad it wasn't Alvarez at the end of that, but still, really good pass, a genius flick from Holland. And it was a really good at uh, controlling the ball. He did a really good job at controlling the ball, but uh, he just couldn't get the aim right. That, that was it, you know. And early on, they were already causing trouble. And I thought that's that was going to be the theme of the game. That was going to be the rest of the game, you know, with City just on top of uh, Arsenal at home, you know, at the Emirates. Um, uh, speaking of Holland, did not see anything from him except from that flick, I think. That's that's about it. So, you know. Props to uh, to Saliba and, and Galbo Jesus. I think they did an amazing job uh, in the back line. And Foden, too. I didn't see anything uh, with Foden. But then, again, Declan Rice had an amazing game. He plays such a good game in, in that, you know, intercepting, uh, passing the ball, especially with his passes, uh, blocking, you know, uh, tackling. Really good. Really, really good from, from Declan Rice. And, uh, yeah, the four subs that came in, they were involved in, 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 the, in the goal. That was a really good uh, shot by Partey. And uh, Tomiyasu, what the hell was he doing up there? And good control from, uh, what's his name, uh, Havertz. And, I mean, he got lucky. Let's just be honest. He got lucky, you know, hitting hitting Aki square in the face. But uh, he worked his ass off. Because as soon as Martinelli came in, I mean, he injected a whole different kind of energy uh, to the Arsenal side. He, uh, he, he did really well. He did really I mean, you saw two people marking him in uh, many instances. I think all the instances that he had the ball. So really good from, from Martinelli. Really good from everybody. Everybody played a really good game. Odegaard as well. Would have wished he would have uh, scored a goal because I think he worked his ass off and he, he had a really good game. Uh, that tackle, I don't know what to think anymore about tackles, about penalty, what, what constitutes a penalty, what doesn't. Um, but if you're going to call the Curtis Jones Liverpool match a red card, then this is a straight red. I mean, it's an obvious red. Yeah, there was no intention, but the, the gesture, I mean, the action you know he, he could have broken his leg or he could have just left him injured he could have you know he could have been wheeled off uh, carried out of, out of the field easily easily so i don't understand how the curtis jones is an automatic red despite him rolling his foot off the ball so he went to the ball first where this one with kovacic was kovacic it was just a straight i mean straight to his ankle you know and then not even three minutes later he uh he gets what's his name uh, rice right on the leg and it wasn't like that was so intentional he had to go a little bit back you know, had to pull his foot a little bit back to actually hit him in the leg, right? Had he just gone forward, I don't think it would have been a foul. People were saying what the announcers were saying, like, oh, maybe, you know, 
the it's a 50 50 with the first one no it's not a 50 50 especially if the curtis jones is going to be 100 percent a red card then this one is not a 50 50 that first tackle was 100 percent a red card so there's no oh but the but the second one is a second yellow no no that first one is the first yellow the second one's just to tell you like dude you're not doing your job you know pay attention what more can you say about that and the second half was not what it, what i was expecting it to be the second half was arsenal actually actually getting one up on city i mean they were a threat they were a threat and well deserved even if it was a lucky break with the you know smacking him in the face and going in uh the goal they they were they were looking for it they were doing everything they could to to get to that goal everything they could i mean they were going ever with a uh, gabo jesus they had a lot they had a, i wouldn't say they had a lot of chances but they had chances that they created and city did a really good job at you know defending obviously but they they had it coming they you know they merited that that goal arsenal did a really good job fantastic job i pff, applaud them you know a great job and you know what at the end what uh when uh i thought i was hoping uh pep was gonna go up to uh, you know arteta and since they work together and they know each other you know he's gonna be like you know like oh man you you man you you beat me this time you know you you got me like you know congrats or you know, like with a smile you know i don't think that would have been an insult to man city or anything like that because i mean how many times has has he beat him like every single time that he that he played arteta i mean pep has been the one that's been winning so i wouldn't have seen anything wrong about that you know had he gone and laughed and you know shook his hand why not at that point he, you could let this one go it's just one you know uh i was expecting that i, I felt that he was kind of a first of all i thought like oh man pep is kind of like a sore loser but then i'm thinking it's the start of the season you know pep's face like very stoic to me the reading was he's like what this is it's the beginning of the season what do you really think this is gonna like do anything to us like we're city like we got this like i'm not gonna like budge i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna fold up why would i it's just the beginning of the season it's one game we're okay we're at the top nothing nothing bad happened that's the way i kind of saw it afterwards you know so i didn't have that much of a problem in the beginning but still i thought he should have been a little bit more i mean he's his friend at the end of the day it's a football match for for crying out loud you know we're not here, uh, you know, saving lives into Ukraine. You know, it's just, it's just a, it's just a fucking stupid, stupid game. That's what it is. I'm sorry, but that's just, you know, people getting paid to to chase a ball, right? So have fun with a little bit, relax a little bit, you know. But it's true. Like it's just the beginning of the season. That's great. Uh, if anything, Arteta a little too happy there, you know, like a little bit more composed. But you know what? Yeah, let it out. Let it out. Why not? You know, who cares? So uh, yeah, no, really good. Uh, Raya, just I don't know, a little bit iffy at, at the beginning kind of wanted Ramsdale to come in in the second half and credit to Pep for keeping Kovacic in the second half I did not expect that one I, I thought you know I thought definitely definitely he was going to take him out in the, after the the second uh, foul he didn't definitely he's going to take him out in in halftime he he didn't do it no and I mean finally yeah he did come out but uh uh overall yeah like I said a really good game uh just fun game really good not to see Bukayo Saka there thrilled thrilled as hell and uh, yeah, that's it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Tschüss.